Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now I know we've been super inconsistent as of late and I apologize for that. I've been dealing with a lot of stuff behind the scenes. If you guys don't know already, we have disassociated ourselves with Tempo. Um, unfortunately, we had a really weird ending and Tempo no longer could stay in Brawl Stars because of it. Um, all love to them. They were a great organization. They were very nice to us. We've had a lot worse and dealt with a lot worse. So huge thank you to them. Outside of that, I have been pushing ladder. Now, you guys can see on the top left, I'm at 38k trophies. We still got a few days left on the season. We're definitely going to hit 40k this season, but I do plan on going for something really big. It's been a very long time since I've pushed ladder, and I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. I know a lot of you guys want me to push ladder as well, but that is not what today's video is for. Today's video is going to be about Lou and how Lou is actually one of the better brawlers in the game. Now, I know a lot of the mainstream YouTubers have been saying that Lou isn't that great, kind of like a bottom tier, not terrible, but bottom tier brawler. But I disagree with that. I think Lou is easily a top 10 brawler. You can even make the case for like a top six or top seven. And we're going to show you why here in Gem Grab. Now, before we get into the video, the winner of the Supercell box giveaway is going to be in the description below. Please message me on Twitter or on Discord, which with Discord, whichever one works for you. You have to send a screenshot proving that you are that user. And once you do, we're going to work things out. We're going to get you that Supercell box. Anyways, congratulations if you won. But anyways, we're going to hop into some games here. We're going to show you why Lou is broken. Let's get into it. All right. So here we get into the first game. So we're going to be showing you guys gem grab. Um, Siege is probably the greatest mode for Lou because it's just so good at defense. You just consistently hit down their bot on defense. It's really good for attacking and actually really good for offense and even mid control. So what's really good about Lou is obviously the slipperiness. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have faced Lou. I actually haven't faced Lou very often on ladder, only a couple times, but it's such a distraction. It just, you can't walk into the slipperiness or you're gonna get full clipped by a Lou and its teammates. Additionally, the freeze is really, really good. Um, you guys can see that Leon's kind of just like sliding around. Now, unfortunately, he was invisible, so I couldn't see him, but he was there on that ice for quite a while. And additionally, you know, there's just a good amount of DPS with this brawler. You do have to hit the snow cones, which is a little bit difficult. You can't just auto aim them. You guys can see his tar kind of got stuck on the wall, so we're getting a couple free shots over there. And they can't go up into this area. We have full control now because of this snow, you or this ice, I should say. You can see the Leon kind of slipping. Now, the one thing I don't like about this brawler is I don't think that the gadget is very good. I think if this brawler had a good second gadget, kind of like Carl when Carl was a strong brawler, but the gadget was weak, he could be really good. I'm just going to keep this Leon kind of screwed over here um, and trying to just hold down this lane for Mr. CR7. Just going to take a couple shots for that Carl. We're going to be able to get that kill. Oh, the Leon's over there. Kind of a sneaky Leon. We're going to get him stuck in this little slippery slope over here. And that's going to be an instant kill. Oh, no, I might get pulled. All right. The immunity kept us alive for long enough. Got the gems a little bit off to the side. But that is going to be it for gem grab. Now, this is a very kind of difficult brawler when it comes to perfecting. The gadget is hard to use. It's not really that useful unless you're going to be like BB swung when she has her charge or something like that. Or you just want to hide from one particular shot for a second. It's not very useful. But I mean, it does have its uses here and there. But I do expect a really good second gadget to be coming for Lou. But outside of that, again, really good in Siege. It's decent in Heist, although I wouldn't really recommend playing. In Bounty, I don't recommend because it doesn't have the HP to go up against like a Brock or a Piper or even a Thrower when it has good positioning, but a really good gem and a really good siege brawler. So we're gonna hop into another game. We're gonna be the lane this time and let's show you guys what's up. Okay, so here we go into the next game. We're gonna be the lane this time just to kind of show you the versatility of Lou. Cause again, Lou, pretty good brawler. People are kind of underestimating how good it is. So we're gonna go to the side over here up against the 8-bit. So we get out damaged and out ranged. So all we're gonna try and do is chip away and try and get it frozen. Now we might go down here because 8-bit is probably one of the best counters when it just comes to a straight up lane with Lou. But you can auto aim your shots a lot more obviously when you're going up lane against an 8-bit. Now I'm 8 HP, so I gotta kind of chill for a second. Um, this 8-bit's coming close. I got to get it frozen here. Once I get it frozen, I should be able to get the kill. Got to hit it one time. There we go. Frozen, and there we go. Getting the kill on someone who does completely counter us. CR7 should be able to get that kill over there. Maybe he's got to finish up this Tara, and there we go. We're able to get the gems, and I guess we're just going to hold on to this side over here. So we're going to put this down, not let anyone kind of sneak in our way. People are going to be forced to go to the left side. Tara can come here if she wants i would happily take her in this little ice area what i think would be cool is if 
instead of you know you just getting nothing from the charge i think it would be really cool if you gain super from being in the ice now this tar is going to sneak on patchy over here pretty disappointing i'm going to put this little ice over here probably not the best spot because i didn't think that their tar would go down but we just got to get this mr p so really good shots again you also have really good range so range is barely ever going to be an issue for your brawler going to be able to get that kill over there again really good dps if you are hitting your shots Gonna take out this penguin and you guys can see this Mr. P stuck really easy snipes for Patchy over there. We're going to be able to get these couple kills and that is going to be this game. So again, you guys can see very good lane as well as mid. Good at a lot of different things. Let's hop into the next game and let's keep going. All right, so here we go into the next game. We're going to be going back to mid. Going to mid against Piper, which is going to be pretty interesting. And we're going to be also going up against a Mortis, which is one of the counters for our brawler here. CR7 is going to be Genie. Probably thought he was going to go mid. I'm just going to counter these shots real quick. Again, there are a couple uses for the gadget. It's just I don't like it because it's not the most useful. There's not a lot of times where situations like that are going to arise. Uh, looks like the Piper's going down. We're just trying to get our super here to get that area denial. Going to be able to get one kill over there. Going to be able to get that second kill. Try not to get sniped now. We're going to be able to get that one too. So we're just going to put the ice down over here when someone comes here. It doesn't really affect Mortis too much because Mortis can kind of just dash through your ice. Um, but it does give that area denial. No one's walked through that middle part as you guys can clearly see. And we're just chilling in this mid, having a good time. No one could really contest us. Now, I am scared this Mortis is going to long dash into us. He's going to try and do something. Going to, you know, come at us a few times, but really nothing that it can do. Oh, this Piper, if it has a curveball, can kill us probably. But I suppose I could just gadget it. Gonna put this ice right here. Gonna let CR7 take that one. Gonna hit some clips. Again, really easy to get kills when the brawlers are in your face. And again, this tar is just slipping. Gonna be a very easy kill for us and Patchy. Really, really easy. It's kind of like when you stun someone with a mic shot or a bow stun. It's the same concept of your brawler. Your teammates are going to be able to kill it really easily. It's not very tough. It is super, super simple. And that's essentially what this brawler is. It's a support brawler. You're not supposed to carry with it. It's not supposed to be an amber or a spike or something where you're just absolutely dominating, do, doing DPS. It's not supposed to be a tank. It's just a support brawler that's supposed to help you out. So that makes sense why it's not that good in bounty or in heist or modes like that. But it is good in siege and in gem. So let's hop into another game. We're going to mid this one again and let's get right into it. All right. So here we go into our next game here. Brock, Carl, and Max. So three very high powered brawlers. Probably three of the top seven, maybe even five brawlers in the game. So this should show you guys just how strong Lou is. No good player is just going to slap everyone with bad brawlers. Brock's going to miss the 3k. I'm just going to juke over here. Oh no! CR7 kind of killed me with that. Very toxic, Mr. CR7. But we're going to stay alive. We're going to stay up. Things are going well. So we're going to move to the side over here. We're going to put this uh, this ice down. Not letting the Carl really do anything. He's going to go on a little bit of a slip and slide. Um, he's going to... Oh, he's going to stay alive because Patchy went down. But I guess that's okay for the time being. I guess we're just going to take over lane and see what we can do. Oh, this is very unfortunate. Nothing we can do about that. We're going to have to take the lanes and we're going to start to have having to win. Because, I mean, we're down right now by a good amount. So let's see what we can do. Let's put this ice over here. Figure out where this Carl is. There he is. Going to get a few taps. Eight to nothing right now. So we got to catch up. There's already one gem down. Shooting at this Carl. He's going to come right at us. Not going to be able to do much. He's one shot, please. Okay, we're going to be able to get that. Patchy got one kill. We're going to need this other one. I think they have 10. Okay, they have 10. So this is going to be a little bit rough. We have gene pull. We got ice. So this is possible. 100% possible. Patchy's going to go down. It looks like I'm also going to go down. Okay, this game is looking like a rip. And we always keep the wins in. So, I mean, this kind of shows you a little bit of this brawler and why it's a support brawler. So I've been talking a lot of good about the brawler. We can also talk about the negatives of the brawler. Once you kind of get into that area of you don't hold lane, you're facing a Carl, a Max, to name a couple brawlers. Brock, it's definitely able to gain position back. But those couple brawlers, it's really hard to gain position back because you don't have that DPS. You don't have that health. You don't have that really crazy super or that crazy type of shot weird shot to kind of just get you back into the lane so once you lose lane it is a little bit tough so you guys want to be really picky about the maps you're grinding this brawler on and the situations that you're grinding this brawler on play it with some couple you know high powered brawlers such as gene or tara 
Um, but that's what I would recommend. You don't want to be reliant on a Lou to win you back lane. But let's hop into our fifth and final game and let's show you guys what's up and hopefully we can take the W. All right, so here we go into our final game. So we're going to be going up against a Sprout. Now, this is going to be kind of like the counter of counters on this map, at least. Because this guy's got the range, he can hide around walls. There's a lot of things that a Sprout could do in order to beat a Lou. So again, Lou does have its weaknesses. It is a control brawler. It is not a brawler meant for just absolutely straight up winning. But it is not as bad as people say it is. It's actually pretty good. Um, you just got to be using it in the right type of way. I'm going to put this down. Hopefully, I can juke a little bit. Able to stay alive for a little. That BB is going to be frozen, which is kind of unfortunate. Because I wish that froze, or that freeze, I should say, happened when we were around. Uh, let's see if there's someone near this wall. Oh, it's kind of unfortunate. It is a Tara with Super that's around the wall. Um, they got six gems, so we're going to need our lanes to pick it up. I think I'm going to go sneak on a lane. I don't trust my lanes, so I'm going to go do it myself. Um, looks like Apache's going to be able to hit a BB over there. He's able to hit it again. He's going to go for the curve shot, going to be able to get it. So we got to be able to take out this Sprout over here. We're going to get that guy stuck in that little slip and slide thing. Please don't hit me with this. Get that kill, Patchy, please. We're going to put another one down. Now this BB is kind of screwed. Walking around. We're going to get that frozen. We're going to get a kill. And we're going to walk out with all the gems. So you guys can see how big of a turnaround that is. How effectful or effective. I Effectful is not a word, Bobby BS. How effective this brawler is once you get the ice down. The ice makes it really hard for the other team to maneuver. Really hard for them to get to you. And that gadget can prank them pretty hard. But that is going to be it for today's video. So again, if you won the Brawl Box giveaway, huge congratulations as there's a lot of cool stuff. And make sure to message me either Twitter or Discord. But that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching today. And I will be back again, hopefully tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Until then, peace out, guys. See you later.